Hello, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac. Let's play as Isaac this time. I like to switch between the two. Uh, I take off the northern line, I guess. Um, next time, let's play as Azazel, if I remember to. Because we haven't played with him in a while, and he was pretty fun. Until I got rid of his brimstone, because I didn't realize he didn't actually have brimstone. That was a minor problem. But once we, once we got brimstone again... Kind of as a joke, it actually worked out really nicely. So this is what I thought those sp spiders with the purple flame would do, because purple flame usually means homing shots for you and for enemies. But it seems like for spiders, it just means circling shot, which is nice though. I much prefer a circling shot than a homing shot with a jumping spider. Well, before we go to that room, let's check out the item room. Oh. I wasn't too good run last time. I mean, I think I did pretty well with what I was given, but maybe if I did less suicide in the boss rooms, maybe, maybe, but maybe it was impossible. Maybe I would have died early on if I didn't suicide in the boss rooms. Okay, Dead Sea Scrolls. Woohoo! I thought it might be a bomb of some sort. I think Dead Sea Scrolls can still be kamikaze, which is always worrying, because you don't want kamikaze unknowingly. So hopefully we get something to replace this soon. Hopefully. Or hopefully we just get amazing items that aren't spacebar items, that's always an option too. Oh, come on. Oh, it's almost like I have homing tears. Oof. And that, friends, is why you don't want shot speed. Because the more shot speed you have, the weirder your knockback becomes. You see how, like, I'm trying to dodge, but he's getting knocked into me, like that. That's that's why that's why you don't want shot speed. One of the many reasons you don't want shot speed. But I've been told having shot speed isn't so bad in this game. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why it wouldn't be such a bad thing. I don't know what could possibly be good about shot speed, but hey, apparently it's not as bad. Oh, mm, come on, please, please don't kill me on, on the first floor again. These guys have killed me on the first floor before. Remember that? I remember that. It's like a really short episode, five minute episode or something. Oh, the new bosses they've introduced for the basement seem a little bit strong. Like this guy and that poop guy. They seem a little bit stronger than every other basement floor. Like, I don't think they're too strong as a boss, but maybe as a basement level boss they're a bit strong. You know? I think you know what I mean. Well, let's, let's do suicide and go in here. Well, that's cool. And it pushes it into those flames. Yep, that's how it works. Oh, spiders. Yeah, I'm so glad they spent a red heart and a bomb to get spiders. <sighs> okay, well, let's continue on. Stay hopeful. Hopeful is what gets you through the game. Just enjoy the game. Don't worry about being good or bad or the best there ever was. Achievement wise, I'm the top. 20% so you know it's not too bad to think I'm not just playing this whenever I'm recording every single episode that's always makes life difficult you gotta keep talking you can't just oh that was a book of Belial maybe I should start using it on rooms where there's actually enemies I don't know oh, can I switch this out with book of Belial I'd be so happy if I could switch this out with book of Belial I love book of Belial I know in the community remix there was an item that was like Book of Bilal, but for your tear rate rather than damage. So it essentially did the same thing, but instead of upping your damage, it upped your tear rate. So you did more damage because you did more tears. Um, and that looked pretty cool. I'm not sure if it's an actual item. The community remix was a mod for the original Isaac, which I never played, but I saw a few people play. They kind of like tried to include some items that were leaked 
uh, of the Binding of Isaac remix, so I had like that item I was talking about last time, which you could move around with your tears, the one big tear, instead of the multiple tears. Yeah, things like that. Um, which was cool. Uh, well, if it. Kamikaze! Uh, let's never use this again then. Item room. Okay, this room, please drop a key. Item room, please be Book of Blau. Or Sacred Heart. That'd be cool too. I won't get rid of the space where I do. Because if I don't get rid of it, I'll be tempted to use it, you know, because it can drop good things and stuff. But I'm probably just going to kill myself with it. We all know that. I mean, oh, thank you. Key. No. Oh, well, full health. Ah, it's a plus. I want a key, machine. I want a key. Thank you so much. Okay. I do remember what do you have for me? Well, you're better at least. Well, I mean, you're not, but at least you don't kill me. So that's a plus. Okay. One cent. Yeah! That's always nice. I had to use on this because this thing was so good to me. He gave me a cent back. Thank you. He was telling me not to gamble. That's what he was telling me to do. Which is essentially all you can do with money. Oh, and buy stuff, I suppose. But you don't know what you're getting. Everything is a gamble. Yeah. That was a pretty good saying I just came up with. So I'll show you what the feather does. Um. I think I've shown you what it does, haven't I? I know, it's kind of like the white pony minus the pony effect. In case I've shown you both of those effects. Oh, my nose itches a bit. So if you get the pony spacebar item and combine it with this item, you'd get the white pony. And so, yeah. Get a key. Do I have a bomb? No, that's cool too. This is the other boss which they added, which I think is a little bit strong for the level it's on. You see, it's not that great. It killed two poops and did an inch of damage to him. But, you know. Oh, my range isn't quite good enough. Okay. He's gonna shoot. Yep. He's gonna charge. Too much. You get it? Because he's charging me. He's charging me too much. So when he bunkers down, mm. I think the reason I don't like them is because the, both these guys, new guys they've added, are charging ones. I know I always find charging guys are a little bit hard to dodge in Isaac. I feel like they're a little bit unfair compared to everything else. Like tears, you know, bullet hell ones like Mum's heart, you lose because of your own silliness, you know. But charging guys, they just seem always impossible. Well, range is nice. Hopefully we won't end up like that one room where we didn't have any range. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's use this stars card as soon as we get down there because it saves us the key. So let's use it. Or, let's go in here. And stars card. There we go. So we used the key, but we used the key somewhere else. You know? So arguably we just got a golden chest for free. In a way. Because I would have had to spend that key on the item room. You know? You know? So really I got a bomb, a red heart, and a couple cents in exchange for a card. Which isn't too bad. Okay, could you... I don't like these guys because they so rarely open up, you know. Like turrets in general, which is those just walking turrets, like, they're a cool concept, but often they just refuse to open up for like no real reason. They just don't open. And it's like, okay, I haven't shot you in like a minute now. If you could just open, you know. And it's like, for some reason, you just have to stand really close to them before they decide to open again. Even though that isn't usually a requirement, sometimes they just want you to stand really close to them. They're lonely, I guess. 
Okay. Okay. If we get a few more cents, we might go to the shop. Yep, you fart. You fart. Lots of farting. So much farting. I guess it's not really farting, it's kind of spitting. It sounds like farting, sort of. I guess if your farts sound like that, you should probably consult a doctor. Because it's not really a natural sound. Okay, come on. Come on. Few more. Don't like that rock in the center, it makes them so difficult. But these guys can't really hurt you because they can't turn upwards, so it kind of seems like a pointless room, almost. Sort of, I think. Oh, hey. Oh, what's that? You can't get to me? Yeah, that's right. You suck. Poop. And now you're just a little happy. I love how happy they are. It makes me happy. Their happiness makes me happy. If they were annoying at me, their happiness would make me angry. Be like, shut up. But because they aren't, their happiness makes me happy. Oh, my nose. I'm sorry that I'm sniffling quite a bit. For some reason, my nose has decided to start being in the need of sniffles, even though I don't have like a cold or anything. And those guys explode. I should remember that. Black ones explode. Black anything. Well, I've been to the item, so I might as well. Hey, Bastlands. Oh, hey, this spider jumps at me. I don't remember Bastlands spawning spider like these kind of spiders. I always thought he spawned smaller spiders, but maybe that's a change. I'm guessing I fought all four horsemen, but I don't think I fought this guy yet. Ah, let's use this. I wish the beams of light were like intelligent beams of light. That, like monsters too, you know. I wish they actually aimed. Well, uh, like they long legs, like they actually aimed for enemies, rather than just being a random collection of points. You know, like when you're doing like the. Isaac fight at the end of the game, it's different now, I'm pretty sure. So it's not going to be like that. But in the original, when the beams of light start coming down from the sky, you know, it, it, it's fair enough that they're just random. It'd be kind of annoying if they're tracking shots. Or, I mean, you could just dodge them if they're tracking. They're random, so you don't know when they're coming, so you can easily take damage just randomly. Um, I think that's, you know, fair enough. But when you're using it, I feel like it should have some sort of tracking ability because you only get it once every four rooms that's kind of quite rare you know Isaac uses it like every 10 seconds okay that's going down let's beat the clock oh we're not beating the clock we've caught up the clock which means it's probably gonna beat us all the way but that's alright we've beaten it once with a Zazzle I think and that's all we need Oh my goodness, the mug. At least these flies don't explode, you know. I guess those spiders explode, though. I guess those spiders are exploding spiders. Which I didn't know, but now I know. This is a room for light. Oh, I can't use the light. Ah, that's too bad. Woo! Thank you, big fan. Yeah, die. Why is all those jumping spiders out of the way? That's always a bonus. Yeah, if these were the exploding flies, that would be kind of like, oh my goodness, crazy chain reactions going on in this room. Now, I believe these guys shoot in random directions, so they don't aim for you. Though it may seem like they aim for you. Because they keep hitting you. Oh, okay. Could ya? Could ya kill yourself? No, you can't. That's your one floor. Ah, uh, I could go down to one red heart and go in there. I guess. Let's do it, man. Okay. And I won't pay you any because now 15 cents, which is a good amount of money to have. What? What's in here? 
two chests, definitely not worth it, but let's take that trinket. You know what, let's get the challenge up. This game wasn't hard enough already. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I guess, I bet you like your attractiveness. Oh, not attractiveness, I mean like, he pulls me in when he breathes in like that. It's not attractive. Unless you're into that sort of thing, I guess. Some people are, I'm sure. Maybe. Really obese people, I guess. Some people might like... Now, if you are really obese, I'm not saying people won't love you. I'm just saying... The Western idea of beauty, and my idea of beauty, doesn't fit obesity. Anyway. Enough offending fat people. That's kill this thing. I mean, if your belly is as low, touches your feet, you should probably consider, you know, working out. If blood is pouring out of all your openings, then your and then your heart's probably just exploded. It. I'll be honest. Which I mean, if you're this fat, well, I wouldn't be surprised if your heart exploded. Okay, enough insulting fat people. Let's stop with the fatness. But actually, you like to offend the easily offendable. Are you saying fat people are easily offended? <laughs> Let's keep insulting. Anyway, I'm just talking a lot now because this fight is taking forever. Thank you, Mega Fatty, which is his name, in case you just got offended by that. Not that anyone actually watches these videos, so I could say whatever. Come on, die. Mega Man. That's this guy's name, right? Yeah, he's Mega More. Mega Man. I've seen some... I searched Mega More to see what Mega More is. This is the only thing that came up. Although I saw someone draw Mega Man, and he looked like this. So maybe there's some sort of weird Mega Man spin-off. I don't know. I don't know much about Mega Man. I didn't even think there was much of a story to it, except for that TV show I used to watch. Ah! That was a great TV show. Little me thought. Little me thought that. Not big me. Keep that in mind. Was I going key? I think so. No exploding spiders. No. Please, kill something. I don't want to die in this room. I was having such a mediocre run. <laughs> yeah! <sighs> I got five items. I think the problem with that run is I just didn't really get anything. You know? I got like two space bar items. I got two protector items. Like a range up and a health up. Like, still base damage, still space base speed, still base tier rate. Oh well. One day, we'll kill Satan again. Just remember how long it took us to kill Satan the first time, and it will probably be twice as long. Anyway, next time we're going to be at Zazzle, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!